So if you look at this whole process of technology transfer, what we're engaged with in here, there's a, there, there's a great scheme that came out of this beautiful book by Stokes a while ago called Pasteur's Quadrant, where you divide up knowledge and utility into four big fields where you have sort of a low level of knowledge, you have these aspects of curiosities, and I don't want to get any ornithologists angry at me here, but maybe the bird field guide, guide we can classify as, you know, as classification. And then you have people like Bohr, Einstein, and Feynman in their days who provided an enormous amount of knowledge, but at that time we actually didn't know what its utility was. So whenever people look at these things, you have to understand these are not written in stone. These change with time. And that's why I put this gentleman in there. Hardy was a number theorist at Cambridge, and he wrote a beautiful book called Apologies of a Mathematician. When he gave his retirement speech, he said, I am proud to announce, he was a classical academician, mode one, I am proud to announce that I've not done anything useful in my life. <laughs> and that was absolutely true to, at, at, at his time. However, this gentleman worked on the factorization of prime numbers, and the reason you can use your credit card without everybody in Nigeria stealing your credit card by number is because of the security code that's based on this number theoretical process that he developed to factorize prime numbers. So he moved over here, actually, with time. He was. Luckily for him, he was already dead by that time. But, he <laughs> so, but this shows you that these are snapshots in time. These are not things that, 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 that stay sort of, sort of rigid. And then up there in this, and that's why the book is called Pasteur's Quadrant, we have people like Pasteur, Langmuir, Bardeen, and um, you know, other people who have produced an enormous amount of knowledge and there's also tremendous utility. And of course, that also happened to some of these guys. What Feynman did with the development of quantum mechanics and, and, and quantum electrodynamics is being used in products now. So as time moves on, what we're doing is we're moving between these quadrants and moving then even from this Pasteur's quadrant down into making companies and big products. <laughs>